Hello! There are many ways to get an image inside of text using Adobe InDesign and Adobe Photoshop. Today I'm going to be showing you the method of how to get an image inside text in Adobe InDesign using outlines. So I'm going to start with Adobe InDesign here and I'll start a new document. Okay, and it's going to be letter size, and my orientation is going to be landscape. And I'm going to start off by writing the text for this. And writing text in Adobe InDesign, you start off by drawing a text box, and I, I'll back up for a second here. What I initially did there was selected the text tool from the left sidebar menu there. And so I'm going to type my text, all caps, because if you're going to be placing an image inside of text, you want it to be fairly large, chunky uh, font that's going to show a lot of the image. So I'm going to go with GoPro because, believe it or not, I'm going to use an image taken with a GoPro camera. So next I'm going to select that text and I'm going to make it very large. I wanted to make it as big as possible, so I'm going to go with 175 point font. And I'm going to change it to very common, very uh, ordinary, but also effective in this situation, Arial font. I'm going to make it Arial Black. And then I'm going to adjust the tracking on this font so the letters are a little bit closer together. And that will allow me to make that font just a little bit bigger for the space that we're working with here. Okay. In the meantime, I'm going to uh, check my units and increments preferences here. and have them sw switch to inches, something I like to do with any document I'm working with in Adobe InDesign. Okay, so I have my text and now I'm going to select the photo that I'm going to use and I've already kind of previewed the photo and it's going to be very large to import into Adobe InDesign. So I'm going to go to Open Recent and I'm going to go with this GoPro image. And as you can see, you can check the image size going to be 3,000 or 53 inches wide okay and I'm only working with a 10 inch uh, document here so you go from here to here and you'll see that that letter is 10 inches wide is going to be sufficient for that GoPro uh, text so I'm going to switch back to Photoshop and I know that I'm switching back and forth very quickly and you can see I took this photo by attaching a GoPro camera to a kite just something fun that I was doing with a, a class that I was teaching. And I'm going to, with Photoshop, you can crop to a fixed target size. And so I'm going to crop to a fixed target width of, I'm going to go with 10.5 inches. That gives me a little bit of leeway on either side. And when you're cropping here, you put IN for inches or PX for pixels. And then whatever you crop to, it's going to be 10 and a half inches wide. So I'm going to crop, I'm going to keep that shadow of the kite. I may be able to use it, may not. Either way, it's going to be a lot easier to work with once I get down to using that photo. So I'm going to right click, click crop, okay. I'm going to save this photo as a JPEG. I'm keeping it in the GoPro uh, directory here. And I'm going to just, just going to call it edited kite as my photo file name. Maximum uh, resolution, maximum quality, and here we go. So I have that image ready. I'm going to go back to InDesign. I'm going to open this by doing the place command. Control D for place. Oh, I need to have my uh, selection tool open in order for that command to work properly. Control D, edited kite. Okay, so here I have this image, and I'm going to want to get it into that text somehow. The way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to select that text using the direct selection tool. Okay, and I want to make this selection box a little bit smaller, just to keep things clean looking. Now using a direct selection tool, I select that text, I go to Type, Create Outlines, 
Now I've created outlines on uh, this text, and I'm going to select this uh, image, edit, copy, and I'm going to go back to selecting the text. I'm going to go edit, paste into. Okay, and so now I can actually get rid of this. Now I've got this uh, neat image to work with. And it gives you a bit of leeway with using a direction, direct selection tool. You can actually manipulate around where that image is. And I've tried uh, some other things, like if you want to use a, a team photo, for example, and use the word team, that's going to be different. Um, you're going to have to make sure that you select a font and lettering that's going to get everyone's heads in here. I thought that this was neat because it does get the image of the sand, the water, the trees in the background, and you can see that I'm... Um, hopefully you can interpret that I'm flying a kite there. I'll move it over just a little bit either way. And I think that having me on the P there is probably the best way to do it. So it's a nice little... Uh, you're illustrating the GoPro image. So we're going to go back selecting it, and we can object effects. We can do some different effects with this image, like for example the bevel and emboss command. And you can change the style of the bevel, the technique. We're just going to go with the uh, default mode on here. Bevel and emboss, and then when you deselect, you can see that that's created a nice little graphic that you can use in other graphic design uh, applications. Finally, if you do want to use this for uh, on a website, for example, we'll go to File, Export, okay, and we'll keep it in that same GoPro directory that I've been working with. And we will call it GoPro, sorry, edit GoPro logo, save, export. And then we, of course, go back to Photoshop. And we can open up this new logo that we've just started. And you can crop that down to whatever size and add whatever background in you wish there. Creates a nice little graphic. Now I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I will be bringing on some more. Thank you very much.